Hey, I'm Amy and this is Dash of Amy, my cooking channel. And this channel is to provide you with some really healthy and easy and delicious recipes that are tried and true. I have seven kids, I feed a lot of people, and I'm sharing recipes that everybody in my life really and truly loves. Today, I'm part of a collaboration, which is Fall and Thanksgiving Recipes. This was put together by Ingrid, whose channel is Mommy and Mia Homeschool Chronicles. So I'm gonna include links to her channel along with the entire playlist for this collaboration so that you guys have access to all these awesome recipes and they're gonna help your Thanksgiving planning be a whole lot easier. So the recipe I'm sharing today is squash casserole. It's really simple, it's really fast, and it's delicious. And it's I make it every year because people flip over it and it's, it's really good. So you don't need much. Um, I've got yellow squash, uh, two large yellow squash, two large zucchini that I cut in half and then cut those in half and then sliced. Okay, so they're in pieces like this. All right, so two large, or you can do like three small of the zucchini and the yellow squash. I also have one medium sized yellow onion that is really finely chopped along with two cloves of garlic, one stick of organic butter, and I've got some cheddar cheese, some broth, salt, pepper, parsley, Mrs. Dash onion and herb spices over there. And then what goes in is honey cornbread. I made honey corn muffins. Now I'm gonna include the recipe for those also down below if you wanna make them because homemade is best. But if you don't, you can get a box mix of cornbread, make it into muffins or make it into a loaf and you're gonna crumble it into this casserole. Kind of like a stuffing in a way. So. Really simple, really good, really delicious. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so for the squash casserole, you can start by getting a big pan, either a deep skillet, a stock pot, or I like my go-to electric frying pan because it's nice and big. So I've got that heating up, and we're gonna go ahead and use an entire stick of organic butter. If you don't wanna use organic, that is absolutely fine. So, it's good and soft already. So we're gonna go ahead and get that melted, and we're gonna start with the onions. Okay, that's mostly melted, so go ahead and put in the finely chopped onions. And onions sauteing in butter, one of the best smells ever. Am I right? For sure. Okay, so we're gonna let that cook a minute and then we're gonna add the squash and the zucchini. Okay, the onion's been going for about a minute, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the yellow squash and the zucchini. And get these things all mixed together. Get them coated with the butter. Squash and zucchini cook pretty fast. We don't want them mushy or overdone. Just gonna give them a few minutes until they're fork tender. What a great smell. Okay, so then we can go ahead and crush the garlic in. And it's two cloves. Okay, and then mix around again. Okay, and while those start to soften, we can add our spices. Okay, starting with salt. Two teaspoons, so two teaspoons of good sea salt. And dried parsley, a teaspoon. You can use fresh if you have it. Fresh herbs make everything better. Okay, about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And I have Mrs. Dash Onion and Herb. If you haven't used these spices, they are awesome. They are natural. They make everything better. So we're gonna do a teaspoon of that. And mix again. So we're gonna just 
Give that a, another minute or two until those are softened. So those veggies soften pretty quick and you don't want to overdo them, otherwise they're going to be mushy. So they smell great and they're just fork tender, which is what you want. You know, saute them for about three to four minutes. And then we're going to add some broth. I have veggie broth. You can also use chicken broth. And we're going to put one cup of broth. And the oven is preheating to 375 right now. While the broth heats up, we will go ahead and crumble in our corn muffins. Now remember, I did homemade corn, corn muffins, which made a dozen, but you're only gonna crumble six over the top. So you'll have six left if you make them from scratch. If not, you can use the Jiffy boxed corn bread. I like mine because it's a honey corn bread, so it gives the recipe just a little hint of sweetness, which is nice. This is my daughter Layla's favorite side. Other than mashed potatoes, this is her favorite. Okay, hands are a little sticky. So six corn muffins over the top, and then you're just gonna mix it around gently and lightly and then it's gonna get transferred into a baking dish. All right, just go ahead and turn the heat off. So I have a nice big rectangular baking dish. If it's for a big crowd, go with these portions. And if it's for a smaller crowd and you don't want so much, cut the recipe in half. So just go ahead and pour the entire mixture into the baking dish. Okay, flatten it out to make it even. And over the top, some sharp cheddar. This is an eight ounce bag. I'm gonna put probably the whole thing. Cheese makes everything better. Yep, the whole bag, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes. I'm gonna take a look at it after 20, make sure the cheese is bubbly and a little bit brown. Okay, the casserole's done. I baked it at 375 for 25 minutes and the cheese is nice and lightly brown and it looks great. So you can cut it into squares. That's what I like to do. It's easier to serve that way. I'm not sure if it's really hot, but I kind of want to try it. Mm-hmm, hot. Ooh, that's warm. Wow, delish. Really delicious, a great addition to your Thanksgiving menu. I encourage you to check out the playlist I've included below uh, for the fall and Thanksgiving recipes. And again, I'd like to thank Ingrid from Mommy and Mia Homeschool Chronicles for including me in this collaboration and remember all my recipes are down below like comment subscribe and have yourself a wonderful and blessed thanksgiving thanks for watching